and we are live and today we are going to build out the clubhouse profile view most importantly the ring uh, around our profile view when we are actually speaking and i can see that we are live so i would just close that and uh, yeah let me just show you what we are going to build out today so if i tap on this profile you see that it has uh, this ring that is pulsating and uh, yeah just so you know this is uh, randomly like it's not uh, fetching my voice or whatever so it is just having these random uh, bursts there and yes this is what we are going to build out as you can see let me just scroll a little bit down or maybe up yes here we go this is the ring that i'm talking about here so let me just refresh my other monitor here and uh, yeah make sure that you uh, type in you uh, inside the chat where are you from and maybe type in i love swift ui well, let's see let me just refresh again here okay done always smile says awesome yes always smile let me know where are you from and uh, agatha says hello alex hello agatha okay so yeah this is what we are going to build out we are going to start off from scratch from a fresh new xcode project but before we dive into that let me just remind you about swift ui camp so yeah this part building out the profile is part of swift ui camp and you have if you haven't already done so go ahead and check out the link in the description uh, swift ui camp is open for a few days only and um yeah let's just uh, see what this is all about so uh swift ui camp is just think about like it's a course but it's a live one so eight zoom sessions like two hours long and i will be coding this out and you may be able to ask questions participate and uh, at the end of the day you will learn how to build the clubhouse app you will have the source code and also you will be able to kind of have this one-on-one -on -one talk with me on zoom course which is really really fantastic so i found that those q a's are really really important for the students Rami says, uh, I'm from Yemen. Welcome from Yemen. And always smile, save this project in GitHub. Yes, I do have the, I will have this saved on GitHub. So uh, the link is, uh, you know, I have these, all of these uh, projects on my YouTube channel. So I have a link in the description where you can sign up for all the resources to my YouTube channel. And then you just search the date and uh, you will have the link to the GitHub repository right over there. Okay. Always Swam is from Russian and you, I'm from Eastern Europe. So yeah, we're quite close. And uh, if you do like my teaching style, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really helps with the YouTube gallery. Uh, uh, yesterday we had 20 likes and it's keep, uh, it's uh, just uh, rising, but let's see if we can get to at least 20 likes today also. Uh, Rami says, this is a great project. I'm interested. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? Do you mean about the pro the profile picture or SwiftUI camp, like building out the whole cup house, Rami? Just let me know in the com uh, in the chat section. Jikar says, thanks for sharing such tutorials. Well, you are welcome. And let me know if you do want to see other types of tutorial. What are you interested in? Would you like to learn Swift UI or UI Kit? So basically, what are you learning? I would really be interested so I can shape my tutorials in that way. So yeah, go ahead and uh, type them in the chat or in the comments. Or yeah, you could just contact me on my site on developer.com. Okay, so... Uh, we are going to, in SwiftUI Camp, we are going to build out the Clubhouse app and from start to finish. As I told you uh, yesterday, uh, we are going to build out the UI and we are also going to use, create the backend with Firebase and this kind of live audio mode with the help of a daily. So yeah, as you can see, we have quite a lot of images here uh, about the Clubhouse app and uh, every image that you can see uh, right over here will be inside uh, uh, our project. So uh, why build an app like Clubhouse in SwiftUI? Well, first of all, uh, when I started looking at uh, a Clubhouse, I noticed that it's the perfect app actually to learn 
Swift UI on. So there's uh, there are quite a lot of uh, views uh, and uh, I just figured that uh, those views could be easily used for me to teach you all about Swift UI. And then why Swift UI? Because yeah, as you can see, it's stable. It has the design pattern of MVVM, which I definitely like. And it has these live previews. And uh, uh, with these live previews, it makes our lives much, much easier. So we can code much, much faster, build out the UI in just a few hours. Uh, for example, what I did uh, back in the Stone Age with UI Kit, like seven, eight hours. Now with Swift UI, I can build out in one or two hours. So it's super, super fast. And as I told you, we are going to have that real time audio added in there with the help of daily. And of course, because we need users and we need authentication, we need to store these images somewhere. We are going to use the Firebase, the uh, database like Firestore and storage and authentication. So build Clubhouse and master Swift UI. So while we are going to build out Clubhouse, we, you are going to learn all the tips and tricks that I use and uh, I'm using in uh, production mode apps and in Swift UI. So you're not just going to learn the stuff that you can Google around or you can find in any other YouTube tutorial. You are going to uh, you, uh, learn the basic stuff and some advanced stuff. Okay. Always my sets. I like Swift UI like this translation. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, why do you need a Swift UI coach? Well, because uh, I will be there one and a half hours coding on these uh, Zoom uh, meetings. Uh, five of you will be able to join because yes, Swift UI camp is limited to five, so I can focus on each individual needs. And after that one and a half hours, you will have 30 minutes of Q&A, which is invaluable. In my opinion, we had quite a lot of uh, good feedback on the Q&A from the previous uh, batch of Swift UI campers. And uh, yeah, that was actually my favorite part because it turned out that uh, there were some questions that I didn't even expect. And uh, it turned out that that was kind of the best feedback that I could give you. Like if you have a question, I try to answer them as uh, uh, as accurate as possibly I can. Now, with my nine years of experience, uh, you will learn the insider tips and tricks. And of course, the project structure, app architecture, all of that good stuff. So how would this be? Uh, be played out well first of all you have to know that uh, we are taking on only five students so yeah first come first serve make sure to check out the link in the description so you may get a discount on it because yes you are a good youtube fan that's why and uh, we will have eight zoom sessions each session will contain two um, two hours which will contain one and a half uh, coaching like me typing all of uh, the code out and explaining how all of this works and half an hour for q a now if you take that that's like four hours of q a just with me even if you are five of there are five of you you will have your turn and uh, it's it's super exciting Okay, so yeah, this is what we are going to build out complex Swift UI view, starting from the basics, from beginner to these complex Swift UI views, like advanced stuff. And uh, what we will cover UI, data, database, and audio, as I told you. And you can just scroll down, you see that we have a bunch of these views right over here. And then, most importantly, because Swift UI is a data driven framework, you have to understand uh, clearly how to handle data in Swift UI. And that is what we are going to learn in module two. So, state binding, um, all of that good stuff, still preference keys. Okay, so uh, finally we have the backend with Firebase because we need those user to be users to be stored there and audio. So yes, this will be a working app. So it will be just like uh, the original one. And if you just scroll all the way down, you will see the testimonials of my previous uh, Swift UI Camp uh, students. And uh, yeah, just take a look at it. It will be it. I think we will start off next week. So go ahead and check out the link in the description for a discounted price uh, or not. Maybe not. Okay.
So let's see what we are going to build out today. I have already started off a brand new project and that's just it. It's called Clubhouse Speaker Ring App. Uh, and uh, uh, what I did here is just have this content view. Just, so just start it off from scratch. So this is actually what we are going to build out. And if I will tap again on this uh, profile, then it will stop. If I tap on it again, it will start off again. So this is kind of, yeah, I'm just going to position it in right on center. So not very much on the content view side. What we are going to build out is actually the uh, this profile picture view. So uh, let's create that. So new file. It will be a Swift UI view. And let's click on the next here. And let's name this profile picture view. And by the way, all of this is already inside in Swift UI Camp. So yeah, this is what you will learn. This is a little bit a little bit advanced stuff, but uh, yeah, this is actually from the uh, course. Okay. So what we are going to do in the profile picture view, first of all, we are going to set up some uh, variables right over here. And the first thing that we need to do here is bind this profile picture view because yeah, if we tap it, we want to get notified on the actual um, container view and that it will be the content view. Okay, so let's create a binding really fast. Binding var is speaking. So whenever it's speaking, it's, we are going to show this ring. So this will be of type bool. Okay, so uh, that's our first thing here. And uh, yeah, let's just remove the uh, prof uh, previews. We are not going to need that in this tutorial. So what are we going to be using? Well, first of all, because this is going to be kind of a randomly uh, shown uh, ring, we are going to need a timer for this. So let's create a timer first. So the let timer equals timer. And we're going to use a uh, combine here, like with the power of Swift UI. And uh, we're going to use a publisher. So publish every on in, make sure that you choose this one, this one. And uh, the time interval, let it be like 0 0.15 seconds. So really, really fast. On the loop, well, we want to have this on the main thread because this is UI. So of course we need to update that on the main thread. And for the run uh, loop mode, let's just use a uh, comment. Okay. And we want to uh, start this timer uh, as this profile picture view is presented. So let's just go ahead and use auto connect right over there. Really, really nice. Let me just have some more room here. Okay. So next up, we want to have a counter and uh, uh, if the speaking uh, ring is hidden, because we are going to add it in there, but we actually want to hide it at the times. So let's create a private state here. And I do have these code snippets. You will be able to get these code snippets in Swift UI Camp, by the way. So uh, state private var, and let's just call this counter. And the value for the counter, it's zero for now. That's great. And uh, the other private state variable will be is speaking ring hidden. Okay. And by default, this should be true because, yeah, we are not speaking uh, when this profile picture appears. Okay. So, how would we do this? Well, uh, first of all, uh, think of it like we need to create an actual Z stack. Now, I usually add all of these into a V stack. Maybe we want to add in there something. And um, yeah, I, I found that V stacks have a better frame uh, um, view modifiers when we are adding them. So even if we are having a Z stack, I like to add them inside a V stack. And yes, you guessed it, we need a Z stack right over here because first of all, we are going to have that uh, ring and then some white ring again, and then the profile picture. So three elements here. Okay, so let's start off by uh, adding our first ring, uh, like the, the most in the background ring. So actually what we see when uh, we can see these right over here, so this kind of grayish, a ring and uh, that will be actually a rectangle so 
let's have a rectangle right over here and let's just fill uh, all of this with some color okay and let's have a uh, red green and blue now i will copy out these colors color uh, values from my notes here because uh, yeah i didn't uh, uh, i don't know them by heart so let's see 213 divided by 255 uh, to seven and uh, in this intermezzo when i'm typing all of this out go ahead and smash that like button it helps with the youtube algorithm really really nice okay so 185 and 255 okay so that will be filled right over there and uh, let's see uh, let's have a frame for this a frame with like 230 and 230 and we already have six likes thank you very much let's see if we can get to 10 till i finish uh, uh, this rectangle uh, so that's great now let me just see how this looks like so let's just grab our profile view right over here let's go to the content view and uh, let's add it right over here like let's create a v stack why not so v stack and then profile picture view okay right right in center and we have a missing argument yes uh, is speaking so let's create that so uh, at so private state uh, private var and uh, let's create is speaking and by default this is false and we just bind it right over there really really nice so let's read and run and see what we got uh, till this point so i do want to take this in in steps so you want better understand how this looks like and unfortunately i started with an ipod touch we don't need an ipod touch so let, yeah but this is actually what we get a rectangle i want this to be run on the iphone 12 simulator okay so you already know what we will see here and uh, yeah it's taking shape i do know it is just a simple uh, rectangle so uh, let's uh, make that uh, like uh, these rounded corners that but they are a, a, a specific rounded corner uh, so let's do that uh, we are going to mask uh, this rectangle and that mask will be our uh, rounded rectangle so rounded rectangle and uh, with a corner radius and a style now this is kind of the magic sauce here we have a corner radius uh, let's see now you have to tweak this these are kind of magic numbers like arbitrary numbers but it depends on your case but uh, for a width and height of 230 the corner radius of 96 felt best for me and now the style should be not circular but continuous so this is how we will get that kind of uh, special rounded corner okay finally i want to add an opacity right over here and the opacity is here for the is speaking ring hidden uh, state variable so is speaking ring hidden so if this is hidden then it should be zero and if it is not then the opacity should be one i think this is uh, straightforward so let me just comment this out so we can see at least something okay it's taking shape okay so what do we want to do next well we actually want to add in a white uh, rectangle just like this one in the center and let's make it a little bit smaller so let me just copy this out and paste it in and there right so now the fill color should be dot white so color dot white okay and the width should be a little bit smaller so like 100 and 215 and then the corner radius also should be a little bit smaller okay so let's see how this looks like okay so really really nice uh, next up we are going to add the image so uh, before we dive deep into this let me just add my image first so let's just 
go back over here and uh, we are going to add this image that you can see here into the assets of course you will be downloading all of those images but uh, you can learn all about this in the swift ui cam go ahead and check out the links in the description and we already have seven likes let's see if we can get to 10. okay and uh, we have a new comment ron is from israel welcome welcome ron from israel uh, what do you think about the clubhouse's uh, rounded corners do you like it or do you hate it it's you know it is the continuous type of rounded corner uh, and not the circular one what do you think about it ron let me know in the chat okay so what we have to do here is uh, yeah i do have a link also for the resources uh, and uh, you will have to download that and uh, you will see uh, that image what, that we have here and what we are going to do is just go ahead and drag and drop it right over there also there's a photo attribution it's from unsplash okay so uh, let's see what we want to do is just go ahead and create that image and we are going to copy that image name and let's go back to our profile picture view and uh, let me just add that right over here so image with a name and of course this needs to be resizable first richard low welcome back richard i saw you last time also what do corners look like if circular rather than continuous so let me just show you that so uh for now let's just command that out and let's have uh, this as circular and the white one I will just leave it as continuous so you will see kind of the difference there well it doesn't really do that much so let me just also comment this out or rather yet let's just have them one by one I know that it's a little bit like it's it's just a tiny bit continuous so it doesn't do that much oh and we we added into the z stack let's uh, have a v stack so there we go so if you take a close look at it you will see that this is the circular one and this is the continuous one i know it's slight but it makes a lot of difference when you are taking a look at all of those profile pictures okay uh wilf from canada thank you and be safe yes you also take care and be safe and uh yeah what uh, do you like do you like this swift ui tutorials let me know in the comments Wilf. okay so yeah that is kind of the difference right over there like the circular is just simpler you could just create a, a circle right over there but with continuous it's it's like just sliding slightly in okay so uh that's that by the way it's a good question there so i can uh show you that let's move back to our z stack and continue with our image so we added our image it's resizable let's add a frame here so a frame or width and uh, yeah it should be again smaller so 200 and uh, well let's have it as 200 and 200 alignment okay and uh, yeah let's mask that also so i'm going to copy this out to paste it in there and uh, now we should just have the corner radius as 90. okay thank you for your tutorials you are the best app them well thank you <laughs> thank you for your praise i really do appreciate it and uh, if you do like it give it a thumbs up it helps with the youtube algorithm so uh, let's just uh, build and run right now and we should see that image right over there okay uh, and as you can see it's kind of okay but it's distorted for that for that we need to have an aspect ratio and we are going to add it right after the resizable so dot aspect ratio and we should have this fill by default it's set to fit so let's just build and run again and now there we have it it's much much better really really nice okay and i can see that yes so 
yeah, it's not good to the eye. And yes, I forgot to take back the, the circular to continuous. Let's build and run again. And uh, let's see. No comment before the end product. Meanwhile, it looks good. <laughs> okay, Ron, thank you. Thank you for the honest feedback. Okay, so there it is. So what we want to do actually is when I tap on this profile image, I want this to uh, start like the, that kind of animation. And um, yeah, let's let's start off with that. So what we're going to do is just uh, have an on receive. And uh, while we are at it, because of these uh, uh, <coughs> rectangles, maybe we didn't set the frame, uh, you might forget it. I usually add <coughs> on the V stack, the frame also right over here. So this is good practice. This is one of those good practices that I was talking about that we will cover in Swift UI camp. <clears throat> so that's our frame. And now we want to come in with the timer because with the timer, as that timer is triggered, we want to set the e speaking ring hidden, uh, the true or false. So let's do that. Let's just type this out. So we are going to go with on receive and we need a publisher here. And the timer that we created is indeed a publisher. And right over here, we have our output, but we don't care about the actual time. We just want this to uh, uh, move, like be triggered each uh, 0 0.15 seconds. And uh, let's see, uh, we want this uh, ring to be shown or hidden if we are speaking. So first big if here is if is speaking, then we are going to do something. And uh, uh, this, if, if I just go is speaking ring header dot toggle, let's see what happens right now. So uh, you will see this, but uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't set the is speaking uh, ring hidden like is speaking to true because that's my default uh, force and uh, let's do that under the content view while we are at this point so when we are going to tap on tab gesture so let's just go is speaking and let's just toggle it so we can turn it on and off so let's build and run again let me just go back to all oh, this file and if i just tap on it uh well nothing happens yes of course, because we still need to add, uh, listen to the is speaking. We are not listening to the is speaking. So uh, let's just have on change and uh, is speaking. And right over here, let's just see if this is speaking, we are going to set it to hidden. So is speaking hidden, uh, let's see is, equals to the opposite of is speaking. Okay, so let's see, what am I missing here? Why aren't we doing this? Mm, let's just build and run and see this. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, of course, I did co code that out but I just commented it out. So we need to set the opacity according to the is speaking ring hidden. So that's kind of closing the loop on this logic. So let's be then run one final time. Of course, we are not speaking and uh, we will be if I tap on here and if you hit that like button because we already have a nine likes and uh, yeah, there's only one like till we hit 10. So it would be awesome. So there we go. We are just having a kind of this blink, but I want to make it a little bit more random like because yeah, it's like just beep, 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 beep. It doesn't look that good. So let's just refine this. Uh, and uh, we are going to do this uh, right over here. So we are not going to just simply toggle it. Let's just create a random number here. So let random equals and uh, that would be a number between zero and two. And then we're just going to take a look at the modulo of it. Okay. So then let's just go int uh, random in the range of zero and two. And then if this random numbers modulo uh, by two 
equals zero, so equals, sorry, two equal signs, then we are going to toggle the is speaking greenness. So this will give us that effect that you saw earlier. Okay, let's just build and run. And then when we are tapping on it, really, really nice. Fine, so really great. Now, uh, whenever you will be moving away from this profile picture view, you don't want this timer to move on over and over again, like uh, till <laughs> indefinitely. So when we disappear on this view, so on this appear, we want to perform like timer dot upstream dot connect and cancel. So we would just want to cancel that out. So that's our last step into just making this super safe. And um, you will see that in Swift UI Camp how we are building all of this out. So yeah, and we finally got to the end of this tutorial and we finally got to 10 likes. Thank you very much. So there it is. This is what you are going to see. And uh, this we are going to build out in Swift UI Camp. Now, uh, I will just go through all of the main features of Swift UI Camp again. Uh, if you do want to join, go ahead. Uh, don't hesitate. The link is in the description. So we are going to build out Clubhouse in Swift UI Camp. This is the second iteration of Swift UI Camp. There was one uh, a few months ago. We started that and it, uh, it was a huge success, in my opinion, because we had built out the actual iMessage app. And uh, this time around, we are going to build out Clubhouse. So uh, why? That is because uh, Clubhouse is kind of the new fad. And thank you, we have already 11 likes, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Clubhouse, if you do have this under your portfolio, if you are looking for a job, it's kind of a must to uh, build out this uh, kind of complexity of apps with SwiftUI. And also you will learn how to manage the database with Firebase. So you will learn also how to structure databases and uh, how to have this uh, live uh, rooms with audio with the power of a daily. Like this is kind of what's powering uh, that audio chat like it's not chat in there are rooms you know how uh, clubhouse works okay ron stalker says two likes yeah so yeah most probably ron says that if you would have two likes on that video <laughs> he would just give me two thank you very much okay and um yeah so the ui of clubhouse is perfectly suited to learn swift ui so I do like it, it's modern and it's clean and I can teach you all the elements of SwiftUI with the help while we are building Clubhouse. So it's really, really nice. And uh, by the way, why SwiftUI? Because of its stability, the design pattern of MVVM. I really like MVVM. Uh, the MVC pattern was okay with UIKit. But as things got complicated, I quickly switched to MVVM. And I'm really, really, uh, uh, I do like that uh, SwiftUI kind of suggests that MVVM should be the pattern to use uh, when we are using it. Okay, and then we, we are having these uh, really, really nice speeds of building out these apps because of the live previews that uh, Xcode provides us and because of the declarative nature of swift ui uh, once what that i build out in ui kit it took like seven eight hours now it takes me just one or two hours so it's really really great uh, of course as you know i already told you this will be powered by daily and firebase so the real-time video and audio api and uh, the back end to have these profiles and rooms and all of the images stored somewhere and authentication, of course. So all of that good stuff from Firebase. Now, uh, we are going to build out Clubhouse and master SwiftUI along the way. We have 12 likes for this, which is awesome. So I can not believe that we get into already 10 and now we have 12. Thank you very much. So these complex uh, um, UIs will be built in Swift UI. So uh, what you can see here will be built inside our Zoom meetings because yes, I'm going to 
teach you. So I'm going to coach you, not just having a course, like a pre-recorded uh, course, and then you cannot ask me why I did this, why I did that, how are we going to start? So it's eight Zoom sessions, and uh, each Zoom uh, will be two hours long, and uh, in which I will just use one hour for coding and half an hour for Q and A's. And I already told you the Q and A's; those are kind of kind of no golden nuggets here because you may ask me anything if you don't understand something what we built or what uh, or, uh, we just uh, went through also you can ask me about the recordings if you cannot attend for let's say one or two sessions that's okay because you will have access to the recorded version of uh, those sessions the previous sessions and then you can ask me on that also these will be jam-packed these sessions so i highly recommend to rewatch them again before our next session of course seats are limited like five people will be allowed so i can take on each and every one's question and just take my time to explore uh, the answers and uh, yeah, teach you as much as uh, possible about swift ui and uh, the databases Okay, yeah, we are going to learn to build these complex Swift UI views and also navigation, how to swipe up, these really nice animations that the app has, all of that. Okay, so uh, now this is what we will cover, UI, data, database, and audio. So those are the four modules. Uh, yeah, and you can just go scroll through them. As you can see, there are a bunch of views, and I'm really confident that we can build this out in one month because... We can just go ahead and like like with a rocket ship, uh, like the speed of light, we can just build out this with Swift UI. Of course, you have to have a little bit of experience, but this is what you will get attending Swift UI camp. Okay. And then, yes, this is really, really important. Swift UI is a data driven framework, so you have to be really, really great at uh, managing the data flow. So, yeah, you have to learn all the tips and tricks and tweaks about state and binding and all of that good stuff that handles data in Swift UI. Also, you have to know how to use MVVM properly. And um, yeah, of course, we are going to set up that inside our project. Finally, we have our backend. So we need to authenticate, save some data into Firestore and our, of course, our profile picture in storage so that we are going to connect uh, I have talked a lot about Firebase on my channel, so I won't go in deep on this topic. But we are also going to have this live audio uh, with those with the rooms. We can raise our hand, we can mute, we can have a, 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 a speaker, we can have a listener right over here. So we are going to power that with daily. Okay, so yeah, take a look at the testimonials for the previous Swift UI camp, how uh, the students, uh, what they uh, learned here and what they have to say about the previous one. In the previous one, we built out the iMessage app. In this one, we are going to build out Clubhouse just because it is really, really trending and it will look good on your resume or uh, maybe you want to start off building your own Clubhouse, just start it off on the App Store, you can do that. You will have access to the code and of course to the recorded sessions. So you can take a look at them later on when you forgot why we did was something inside the code. Okay, so yeah, hope you enjoyed today's uh, live session. I will be coming back tomorrow also and all week long. Make sure that you check out Swift UI Camp. Uh, the link is in the description or you just go to store.reveloper.com slash Swift UI minus camp. And um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow.